St. Patrick scared all the snakes out of Ireland. That's a fun fact for you. Good morning. Welcome back to the Weiss Life. It's St. Patrick's Day, and I wore my Christmas pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wearing them. Actually, I just found them last night because it's been kind of cold, and we haven't really been running the air. I don't know why. I think you're not supposed to. The, actually, so Melissa's been talking to the hospital a bunch because a couple of the kids have fevers and, and some stuff going on during the scenario here. And uh, they said that running the air will really dry you out, which is not ideal. But it was like 61 last night, which, you know, for Buffalo, not that bad. California, pretty chilly. So I wore my pajamas, right? Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. What happened downstairs? We'll have to show them, but can you tell us what happened? So um, they filled the thing with candy. They filled the thing with candy. They, so they filled. So start over. You had a leprechaun trap. Yes. And, they and the leprechaun the came. And they filled the thing, the thing. They filled the leprechaun trap with candy. So you might have trapped the leprechaun, but then he like he dropped the candy so it was lighter so we could get out. And did he leave anything for you or? No. Well, he left no. candy for us. Oh, he left candy, but that's all. Yeah, and he wrote not today on the door. Mm, mm. Did he leave anything else that you already ate today? A cupcake, cupcakes. Pretty, uh, that's lucky the leprechaun had the candy and cupcakes. That is lucky during a quarantine. So um, we're going to go uh, check on everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Time to wake up. Got some cereal. Got some candy. Yeah. Right? I usually shower before I come downstairs, but I was really hungry. So I'm having a little bit of that shamrock marshmallow cereal. And look at this leprechaun trap. Not today. Oh, leprechaun wrote, not today. <laughs> nice. And what was in there? Um, What's in there, Gemma? Candy. Candy. <laughs> candy. So you're going to share with your sisters? I'm doing this one. Oh, that's your Swedish fish? Yeah. Shout out to our friends in Sweden. Oh, you're gonna get that? Okay, you can probably open the top of the box. Oh, yeah. I'm a genius. Wow. You caught a rich leprechaun. And this is the place that the cupcakes were on. Oh, there were cupcakes? Where, where are they? They disappeared. They disappeared. Leprechaun magic. Oh, everybody ate them! Tattletail! <laughs> <Tattletale. laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. So it is actually really, really late morning right now. We did kind of sleep in. I am realizing that I probably should have gotten up earlier to put our corned beef in the crock pot. What? Happy St. Patrick's Day? Is that what you wanted to say? Look how cute you guys are. St. Patrick's Day! Oh, perfect, perfect. Am I the only one not wearing green yet? I need to put a green shirt on. So anyway, I'm doing um, a corned beef thing in here. I don't know if the kids are gonna like it, but we're gonna try it. I really wanna like it. You wanna like it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So I'm just putting some potatoes and carrots and onions in the bottom, mostly for flavoring, I think, because in the crock pot, they tend to get mushy sometimes, especially as long as I'm gonna have to cook this piece of meat. So I'm gonna do a side of like roasted vegetables too, because I think the kids will like that better. So I just cut up a couple of potatoes and threw a handful of baby carrots in there. And I chopped an onion into quarters and that's gonna be our veggies for the flavor. And I don't know what we're gonna serve with it yet. We made bread the other day. I actually wrapped oh, it in tin foil yeah, and put it in so here. Good. Can you make bread more often? Maybe, we might be at home for a while, so <laughs> I might be. Uh, Gabrielle, what are you doing over there? Math homework. Math homework, how do you like homeschooling so far? <laughs> Yay! Each class is what? Each class is like half an hour. You know what I should do? I should do a video talking about my online schooling on my channel. Maybe you want to talk about homeschooling? Yes. Yeah, you guys want to learn about my online school situation? Oh, ho, 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 ho. that looks juicy. It does. I'm. I don't cook beef. It's got the little, the little packet of the. Uh, what is that? Mustard oh, so seed don't cook. What? I gotta take that oh, out. Oh no, it's it's um it's peppercorn. I have to reach in here and touch this, don't I? Yeah. You want me to do it? Hi. Hi. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Would you, mind? you want me to do it? I don't. I mean, yeah. All right, here. You get the camera. I don't like touching raw meat like that. I don't mind chicken, but if if it's like beef, I'm a little. I mean, technically, you don't have to touch it. You can just rip it down the side. Yeah, there we I, go. I didn't want to touch that. 
<laughs> oh, there goes your packet. There we go. Nice little corned beef bottom round. So I got myself a St. Patrick's Day tie. Okay. Uh, we had gone shopping um, at Dollar Tree to get a bunch of stuff because our initial plan for today was that we're gonna go to a St. Patrick's Day parade, which is what we typically do. And then we usually go out to dinner on St. Patrick's Day, yeah. but obviously the world is canceled right now, so we are stuck at home. Um, so our day is going to be cleaning up the house, getting the kids set up to start homeschooling tomorrow. Uh, they go to like, uh, what, are they, what are they calling it, honey? Distance learning? Distance learning. So they're basically yes. homeschooling now. And then Jeff and Gab or Gabrielle and Graceland, you guys all look the same today. Um, are making lunch for everybody. So what are you guys making? Buffalo! Woo! Look at that. <laughs> you love that shirt? Buffalo Bills? That is a Irish? shirt. Pretty slick. So, making grilled cheese sandwiches with home-baked bread. And this I is churned, the bread I made. I churned the cheese myself. Churned the butter. <laughs> no, you did not. Shush. Really? <laughs> okay. But I did make this bread. Can we just appreciate how good this bread looks? I actually made bread, guys. So they're making it with that. So it should be pretty good. What does the lid do? What is this technique you're it using? So it, it heats up the cheese and melts the cheese a little better. It's really good. Ask any of the kids. The, the sandwiches are fantastic. That is a superb and, grilled cheese maker. And mom maker. doesn't love butter, but you pretty much use butter whenever you cook. And you really need the butter to toast the bread on the outside. And I do. This is only, this is two sandwiches. So I toast and melt the cheese on both. Oh, so you do together, double cheese. And then you cut, yeah, and then you cut it diagonally. It's great for dipping as well as fitting in your mouth. I like how you're selling everybody on it. Um, our corned beef is hanging out in this crock pot still. It's got another hour on high, and it's then I'm gonna put out. it. It's hanging out. It's hanging out. It's worse than the sweat lodge. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's hanging out in there for another hour on high, and then I'm gonna reduce the temperature on that to a low, and then cook it for like three or four hours. I hope it turns out okay. I feel like every time I make corned beef, it was gross, but maybe it's just I don't like corned beef. That's Jeff true. says he really likes it, so I guess you'll be the judge of if it yeah. tastes good or not. She was even hoping it was expired so she wouldn't have to cook it. She one time, one year I just, I did, we went out to Mexican. I was like, I'm not gonna cook this, and we just went out to dinner. <laughs> Grayson's like, eh, do you like corned beef? I don't know. You've had it a ton of I times. Don't it. A ton of times is the biggest exaggeration you've ever. Well, you done. guys can eat it. I'll just eat the vegetables. I'm I'll gonna make potatoes it, and carrots like and it. cabbage. Is celery in there too? No, we're out of celery carrots. because the world's on. The world's canceled. We Why don't have do celery. That is from IKEA that Dad found in the garage, so That's you guys can really color. color. We have to put it on the table. Yeah. Boop. Are you diagonally cutting my little baby sandwich? Yeah, it's easier to eat and better for dipping. I already talked about that, I think. It looks so good. So yeah, delicious grilled cheeses. So there's still a lot going on, you know, with uh, staying at home and all trying to celebrate and have fun with St. Patrick's Day. And I think the kids are enjoying it. They've had some really good food. I, I'm hoping that they do like what Melissa's making right now in the crock pot there. Um, but we will see. I think they've had it maybe once before and they didn't like it, but they were also really little. So yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they like corned beef, right, honey? Yeah, hopefully. Corned beef I and cabbage. Oh, do you have a cabbage in there? No, I'm gonna make it separate because I don't want it to be soggy. Uh, but that's how I kind of like it. So growing up, I had the corned beef and cabbage and potatoes and carrots and it was boiled. Yeah. So I guess we're making it differently. So we'll we'll see how it turns to make out. It taste better. Yeah, and we're trying to get all the kids set up because they're all doing distance learning. So we have to get all their iPads and computers set up and linked so they can have class still. It's gonna be it's gonna be some trying weeks ahead, that's for sure. <laughs> you hear that bubble? Yeah. <laughs> so we're in the hot tub. I oh, another bubble. I have the bubble. You got a bubble? Yeah. So we're trying to enjoy St. Patrick's Day. You got a bubble with your whole body? Yeah. You're so funny. You're a good little swimmer. Yeah. How you doing, Gretchen? Good. You enjoying it? Yeah. It's it is really, really nice. I think here. I think mom and other sisters might come in in a minute, but I um I don't think mom because she said when I was upstairs getting out my sister, she said that she was cleaning. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to maybe I'll have to relieve her and I'll do some cleaning and I'll let her come out in a little bit. You know. Oh, this looks so good. We got carrots and potatoes. More potatoes. We have corned beef. Fork and spoon, gonna need it. And then we have some, oh, more? And some chicken oh, from the, last night in case the kids decide they don't like corned no beef. No way, they're gonna like it. And there's some uh, cabbage. It's good. There's corned beef. Girls are all ready. We're gonna scarf this down. Thanks, honey, looks great. I see you. 
What about you? We're going for a walk. Get some fresh air. It's been raining the last few days. And as you know, we've been kind of locked up in the house for really a long time. The kids have been home since the 5th. Um, as much as we could, we've had a very little, very small amount of tolerance for leaving the house. Um, we've had to get supplies. Kids had to get to school one time and get their stuff. Um, but really since the 5th, they've been out of school. So we've been more aggressive than most people, really. Um, not that it's good or bad, but it was just kind of our, our gut telling us our gut was guiding us, if you will, um, and very easily could have been wrong. So it's not like we had some sort of clairvoyance. Oh, you see a train? Yeah. What's it doing? It stopped. I don't know. We don't know why it stopped. Yeah, well, we got to keep going. We're going for a long walk. So I just want to get some fresh air and uh, keep uh, morale high in the household. Probably going to have a movie night. Since it is St. Patrick's Day, maybe try to find a kid's leprechaun movie or something. Not leprechaun, because leprechaun is like a terrible, scary movie. Not terrible, but like, there's a movie leprechaun, I think, and it's like a scary, rawr type of movie. You wouldn't? No, I don't think so. I need to watch it! You want to watch it? Yeah! Oh, oh, no! Whoa, be careful. Watch for rattlesnakes. Yeah. That's like an Irish thing. Hey, um, St. Patrick scared all the snakes out of Ireland. That's a fun fact for you. And I think maybe some of the rattlesnakes came here. <laughs> hey, the snakes can come out when it's... When it's cold? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's too cold for the rattlesnakes, but yeah, be on the watch out. The snakes go, the snakes come out when it's warm. That's right, snakes come out when it's warm and it's a little bit chilly right now. Yeah. So the girls are trying to get this little ball from the other side of the fence and pass it up. So a little problem solving activity. You think you're gonna get it? No. No. <laughs> but there's a ball over there and that might be open. There's another ball? Yeah, we could go around, but it's just kind of fun. Good to get some exercise. Good girl. Long run. All right, let's take our shoes off. I think we're gonna have a little dessert. I hope we have something. We are back from the walk. We had a little bit of dessert. They had some little suckers from Seas Candy because we have fewer desserts than I thought. I think we still have some frozen things in the in the garage refrigerator or freezer, but uh, yeah, we're not doing that right now. But thank you guys so much for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Please follow us on our Instagrams. It's super fun over there. Please like the video if you made it this far. Come on, come on. But uh, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Ew, happy St. Patrick's Day. I don't even know how to talk. <laughs> Wanna say goodbye? Bye. All right guys, I hope you had a good St. Patrick's Day. We will see you soon. Bye.